My name is Amy Wallace and I'm a PhD student with Ernst Peebles at South Florida. The weather bird is really active from the standpoint that that's our field work. You have fish that are coming up on board and you're processing the fish. To study fish at, around the time of the oil spill, you need to be able to tell what they're eating. Were they in the area of the oil spill at the time of the oil spill? And if so, how did they change and move after that? We should be able to tell where the fish has been moving in, in the Gulf of Mexico. I'm taking mussel and eye lenses and um, otoliths from the fish. This is an otolith, it's the ear stone, and when we break open their heads, this is what we're looking for. And once you preserve them, you get back to the lab, this is where you're generating your data. Otoliths can give you ages, they can give you carbon and, and oxygen readings for, for water temperature and, and different environmental cues. My first paper was just published at the beginning of October, so it's documentation that there's a possibility that this could be a long-term record. We just need to do a little more exploration. What's great about this job is what you see. It's being out here on the water and being able to see things. There was a whale spotted yesterday. We've seen some turtles on the way out. I saw a puffer fish I'd never seen before that we pulled up. So uh, it's, it's really cool to just be out here and be able to get out of the lab sometimes because most of your work really does revolve around the lab work.